Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore another custom ROM for our Samsung Galaxy S5. So last time I have reviewed one Android 11 based ROM. Uh, it was a pretty good ROM and I still prefer that ROM over this ROM. Although this ROM is based on Android 14 and surprisingly, this device can run Android 14. Although this device released back in 2014, almost 10 years ago with android 4.4 kitkat so it is quite surprising that this low like low and processor and ram can run or can handle android 14 and it can handle android 14 pretty well actually it is pretty usable and yes it's being a custom rom it has few bugs here and there but not really the major one so we are going to explore this rom so this one is lineage was 21 and based on Android 14, let's go check everything. So the ROM is booted as you can see. So now we will go to setting. And as you can see, it's pretty quick actually. It's pretty quick. Samsung Galaxy S5. And Android 14 as you can see here. So we can go. And it's 221. Android 14. So the security patch level as you can see for January 5, 2024. So in this build is pretty recent build. And it's working perfectly fine actually. It's surprisingly well actually so as you can see i'm in the settings and it's working perfectly fine if i connect to the wi-fi right now the wi-fi will work perfectly fine i did put my sim card there for phone calls and messaging part and those are working pretty well so the wi-fi is connected as you can see here now if you go to connected device part you can see connection other things even nfc also working so if i turn on nfc so as you can see NFC is turned on so you can use NFC too with this ROM and going with other things so we got application part we got battery um, battery uh, I cannot say anything about battery right now as my device battery is not really good one but I hope the battery will be pretty good better than the stock ROM and as you can see 12 GB of storage free out of 16 gig pretty good Going to the sound and vibration, all things are working as you can see. Sound all working, and if you go to display part, so adaptive brightness does work. I turn it off because of I'm shooting video and sometimes it blow up the display. And going with the dark theme, you can turn on the dark theme too. But as you can see, the grayish dark. If you go inside, you can turn on the pure black, which will give you the AMOLED uh, inky black, which I really prefer. And let's turn it off for the sake of the video. And going with the other things, you are getting night mode and everything like what you get with LSP based ROM, you will get everything here. Almost everything, not really everything. If you go to wallpaper and style section, you are getting all the icons and you can change the phone clock and other things. Those are also available and sizes. So it's like everything, whatever you want are available. A little bit laggy but work perfectly fine no issue with those things and you can change the shortcut too if you want those are also viable we have more lock screen option you can do few other things always on so if i turn it on always on let's see it should work on yeah always on display is working perfectly fine as you can see here so if you like always on display so this is the rom you you can install or use so ambient display and always on display does work perfectly fine i i thought it will not work because almost most of the device always on display feature doesn't work i never tried on this device but surprisingly it is working here and going with other things um accessibility is there are nothing much going on in accessibility it's all other things and disappointing part are the are two actually although all everything is working perfectly fine as i'm saying now we're going to the system section we have buttons uh you can tweak the buttons here you can do long press double press and other things whatever shortcut you want and if you go to gesture section there are no full screen gesture support on this rom or partially support so if i like type gesture slow so if i type gesture As you can see, we got gesture settings and we got gesture navigation option here, which is not available directly there. So if I go here, 
it is turned on now gesture please in gesture is turned on but if i try to go back it doesn't work but what work is that you can swipe to go home go to home so that's working so other than that you, you can do like we can see the what is running on your phone but you cannot go back so back doesn't work i don't really know why yeah that's uh, that's what's going on with this rom i'm not really complaining about these things because as we have soft buttons here so there is nothing to complain and uh, rather than that there is nothing going on there is nothing much going on with this rom there are no more like customization or anything like that you can't do any customization nothing in bible maybe double tap to turn off the display does work so as you can see it is working and our always on display is also working rather than that in the system setting panel we don't have anything else uh, one more thing we have to mention is that if you go to security and privacy um fingerprint option so if i try to set up the fingerprint so now if i agree as you can see we can't enroll fingerprints so fingerprint is not working on this rom and uh, also the fingerprint is very awful on this device i, I don't really use fingerprint on this device but it is not working so that's all about settings panel so in the built-in application are here all the application i haven't installed um any application rather than magisk magisk i just have to root the device so i did it rather than that all the application you are seeing is here no gf support for this rom um this device got an snapdragon processor which is 32 bit and getting gf for 32 bit processor is quite really hard maybe you can do it or install it through magisk um Maybe if there are a few tweaks going on, you can install through Magix. But I would not recommend that because it will make the device sluggish and you will not enjoy using this device. So going with other things like camera is working perfectly fine. We got a camera application, which is which is not really like the previous like camera application, which is we get like Snapdragon camera app. This one is pretty good one. It's working perfectly fine. Maybe it is a Gcam Go type. And I did not get any kind of like Gcam for this device yet. Most of the Gcam doesn't work on this device. Other than that, everything is working perfectly fine. As I said, phone call, messaging and Bluetooth, everything you can do, whatever, whatever. And nothing much going on. No major issue I have found. Everything is working perfectly fine. Uh, nothing much to complain for a 10 years old device, which is running pretty well on Android 14. So the ROM link will be in the description below. If you want to flash this ROM, you can flash it. Nothing required, nothing, whatever you do with any custom ROM, you can flash it directly like that. You don't need anything else. So that's all about this ROM. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.